Everyone is talking about AI stealing jobs, but in 2026, the real story is the boom of AI jobs, including AI engineering roles, agentic AI, and generative AI engineering roles. Along with that, we will also see an urge in increase in AI skills being applied to many other jobs as a primary, secondary, or tertiary skills. Well, talking about AI, well, we have seen that AI is evolving. Many things are changing in the world right now. 2025, we have seen a lot of companies uh, laying off multiple thousands and thousands of candidates, including Accenture, Infosys, and various other big giants. Now, the reason stated was about AI. Well, the actual reason is people not upskilling and learning AI topics. To be very honest, I'll tell you a very simple story. Right now, the company that I'm working with, many of my colleagues who have 10 years, 15 years of experience, they don't even know how to use AI tools like ChatGPT, Grok or Copilot, which basically means they have zero knowledge on prompt engineering. Well, that is one of the gaps. Apart from having a career in AI, AI has evolved to a certain extent that many jobs, even if you are working on a non-AI engineering role, let's say as a software engineer or as a program engineer or as a tester, AI skills are definitely going to be an add-on to your profile. So if you have not started anything in the AI journey, get started with it. This video, I'm specifically talking about the AI engineering roles. Now, before talking about AI engineering roles, let me give you a quick recap on what was the market in 2024 and 2025. Well, if you go back to 2020s, 2021s, 2022s, data science roles were increasing like anything. Many companies were investing a lot of money in statistical analysis, in time series forecasting, in machine learning, in deep learning, but that has reduced over the period of time. 2024, they were trying to do proof of concepts on generative AI. 2025, we have seen many companies taking one step further of deploying those applications and making it productionizable. 2026 is the year where companies are exploring more on agentic AI, generative AI, etc., etc., which basically means data science jobs are impacted. So that's why you can see that the number of data science jobs or machine learning, uh, not machine learning engineer, the machine learning analyst or statistical analyst roles are decreasing. And that's just because companies have shifted their direction from traditional data science or ML or DL use cases towards generative AI or agentic AI. That means your learning is not going into vain. If you were already a data scientist, you can switch your career into an AI engineer just by learning few topics such as NLP, agentic AI, generative AI, and start doing some projects. If you are a complete beginner, if you want to get started as a complete beginner in 2026, you need to follow the exact career path that people used to follow a couple of years back as a data scientist. So I'll try to repeat. Python, mandatory. As a programming language, you do not have to think twice on which programming language to talk about or study about. Python is going to be a mandate for AI engineering roles. Second is SQL and NoSQL. Understanding of databases is also mandatory. But if you want to skip that, it's okay because that's something we always learn on the go. So tomorrow, if you are joining a company, they are using MongoDB, we will get used to it. So SQL skills are something that you can skip, but I would say just give it a try, 15, 20 days, and you should be good with SQL as well. Understanding on statistical concepts, which will be helpful for traditional machine learning is also needed. Machine learning is needed. Deep learning is needed. The reason why it is needed, I will talk about that. And then major focus should be on NLP, transformers, including encoder, decoder architectures, generative AI, rags, fine tuning, agentic AI, and various other tools related to 
workflow automations such as n n make land flows etc etc if you are done with this curriculum trust me just work on couple of portfolio projects one around rags one around fine tuning one around an agentic ai flow and trust me you are good to go in the market right now now the reason behind why ml and dl is still needed to learn is for a reason generative ai is basically a part of deep learning right it's a part of neural networks and a combination of nlp so it's a prerequisite companies will expect you to know about neural networks so if you go as a generative ai engineer and you don't know how a cnn model works you you are going to be in a trouble right so it's a basic prerequisite that you should know about neural networks nns cnns rnns lstms you know about nlp concepts you know know about machine learning concepts because these are like the abcd of this journey so machine learning and deep learning is needed so if you uh, ask me yes this is going to be the curriculum python sql stats machine learning deep learning natural language processing transformers generative ai agent ai and some no code agent ai tools that will definitely make you an ai engineer in 2026 and trust me it's still one of the hot jobs in the market right now no joke now people who are already data scientists they just have to study generative agent ai and then quickly do some projects and get into it now talking about the non ai engineering career goals people who are going to continue in their domain for example as a program manager or as a testing engineer or as a software developer but they want to learn ai as a secondary or tertiary skills they can skip machine learning deep learning they can skip uh, various other topics they can just directly jump into some introduction of generative ai and some generative ai concepts and agent ai that should be good enough so for the second category of people if you are willing to explore something about generative ai i already have a 6 hours dedicated video on my channel uh, i will be sending that link in the description but for the first category of people if you want to make a ai engineering goal ai engineering uh, career path in 2026 be it on the generative ai engineering side agent ai engineering side or a general ml ai engineering side then i have a dedicated 100 plus hours of program on udemy that you can enroll for where of course i will not be able to support each and everyone but if you want a dedicated support along with your studying part i have this course on zep analytics as well where i provide it at 599 so you can ping me on whatsapp to discuss about the features uh, because yeah there is a massive difference between udemy and my platform udemy will be available at 10 dollars 15 dollars but my platform is a bit expensive and that's the reason behind that is I provide dedicated support, interview preparation, resume preparation, everything. A lot of one-to-one -one calls. So a lot of things are provided. That's why we sell it at 5 triple line. So yeah, that's all about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you are willing to know about some other, other career paths around data engineering or DevOps engineering or cloud computing, anything. Um, especially in 2026 let me know and i will come up with a video see you next video is going to be a project video just fyi so shower your love in case you have anything to ask me ping me in the comment section and that's it uh, yeah one more thing sorry one more thing i have prepared a list of multiple interview guides including mldl generative ai and now agent tk as well so we have four ebooks just write down ebooks once we have good amount of comments like 50 to 60 comments and 100 to 200 likes we will share all the four ebooks to you see you in the next video till then bye bye